Hello, everybody. <laughs> what am I doing with this scarf? It's starting to get cold outside. Anyway, I had to film a video today. So here I am <laughs> filming a video. And I originally had a very different idea of what video I was going to film today. But when I got to today, I realized that the video that I had planned it requires a lot more energy than I actually have today. And so I have, I had to re-evaluate <laughs> everything and do something else. So that actually leads into the video that I am, I'm trying to decide whether to keep walking or to sit down. We're gonna try to keep walking because I haven't walked and talked in any videos, but I do enjoy watching other people walk and talk. So I'm like, let me try that. Cause I feel like it fills that um, stimulation quota. <laughs> so we're gonna try that. It is kind of difficult though, cause I keep getting distracted. Okay, but we're just gonna keep walking and I'm gonna try not to get distracted by my surroundings. I'm gonna stick to what I am planning to talk about. So anyway, it's windy today, see, <laughs> damn it. Okay, also wait. Okay, okay, stick to the topic. The topic is that um, sometimes, okay, hold on, let me stop to introduce the topic to you. So the topic of today's video is what does it realistically look like when you start introducing structure back into your life? And the context that I'm speaking from is from the context of self-development and healing and being in a healing phase of life where you've gone through something difficult, whether that's in your childhood, or early adolescence or whatever, or young adulthood or whatever, like something happens that is traumatic, okay? And it paradigm shifts how you perceive reality and it changes maybe even like the bedrock of your lifestyles and everything like that, your relationships, like it just, really uproots things. So in my life, this trauma for me was what I've been talking about on my YouTube channel for some time now, which is that process of being disowned by my parents. So if I summarize the last few years, it was like that happened. And then there was a period of time where I was still kind of like in this like sped up mode, right? Like immediately after that had happened where I didn't really process it. Like I was just go still going, you know, like at the time when this event happened to me, I was middle of university. And so I had things to do, you know, and I didn't, I couldn't really stop and process and like deal with everything that was coming up for me. I just kind of kept, like, I just had to keep going. And then eventually, at a certain point, my body and my mental, like, just my whole system in general, it stopped. Like, it just couldn't push past all of the stuff that was coming up from that event. Um, and it forced me to a stop. At the same time, coincidentally, the pandemic also happened and it was just a inner and outer world. Like it was reflecting each other. If it didn't happen, I probably would have kept going, probably would have continued to try building my career on the foundations of like a very like shaky foundation because even though I was like doing all these things, I was building like this, like starting to build this like freelance web development and web design business. And um, just like after graduating from university in 2019, my inner world was so just like disjointed. I don't know, like it was just very shaky. Like there was just so much crumbling inside me. And I was trying to build all these external structures when that was what was happening within me. So luckily the pandemic happened and I was forced to stop and chill. And I really thought that I, it was gonna take like maybe a few months, like maybe a year max, but here I am 
in 2024, end of 2024, almost like four years later. And I feel like I'm only now genuinely ready to start introducing that structure back in. So what my life looked like over these past four years was, but okay, I decided I'm not going to get distracted, but we're redoing the windows. <laughs> I just had to put that out there. <laughs> what I was saying was that in the last four years, I have been existing, I've been doing things, but there's nothing that I've been doing really like b upon building in the external, wor external world. All of the work of the last four years has been healing work and inner restructuring work. Um, all of it. If I look back, I'm like, I've been quite busy, but I've been busy in my inner world. And so when you look from the outside, you don't really see that much, but it's because all of the stuff has happened within. Anyway, it took me four years. I would call it my healing phase. But now I'm in a period where if you watched my last video, I was talking about how the spaciousness and like a free flow schedule is amazing. Um, like to have that openness and not have any structures tying you down or holding you down or you having to be committed to. Except it starts to feel really hollow after a while, after four years of feeling like there's nothing being built externally. I mean, at a certain point, like the inner restructuring work is complete too, right? Like healing, I know a lot of people say like, healing is never ending and like it's a spiral like yes it's a spiral and there's always a lot other layers but you do get, get to a point where the main work is done and then everything else is just like an elective <laughs> like it's it's it you, you get to a point where the main work like the work that you need to do to get back to like your healthy self it it's complete you complete it you have the capacity again to use the energy that was being taken up on this like deep inner work and you can start putting it back in the outer world um but yeah and it's like i realized that there's been a few month a few months or so where i felt that readiness to start building in the external world again or start putting myself out and put, like sharing my gifts of the world again um but I was too afraid. It's like, oh my gosh, I've just been in this healing inner world, like in hermit mode pretty much for the past four years. How am I going to like start doing the things that I was doing again, like at the speed I was doing them at and like the amount of things and like having the schedule and what, <laughs> like having commitments and responsibilities. Like how do I go from having like all pretty much none of that over the past four years and only having to take care of myself to then bringing in all of this external structure back in and actually having to be accountable for that and it seemed terrifying. So it took me like, I feel like a few months to come to terms with it. And now, like as soon as fall hit, like the autumn season started, I was like, okay, it's time to take action on all this ruminating that I've been doing because I'm ready. Like, I'm like, I'm genuinely bored. Like, I need to do something. I want to build something. I have so much inside me that needs to come out. And it's like, it's like feeling like constipated, like energetically. And I just like need to let it flow. But now I have the very practical challenge of actually doing that, actually putting those structures in and how do I do that without burning myself out? What I'm trying to do, and I keep finding myself trying to do, is trying to go zero to 100, where zero structure to full structure, and it's just obviously not working because that's not how capacity works. Um, capacity works by like building on your existing capabilities and then stretching a little bit, not overstretching because if you overstretch, you will literally um, harm yourself. So it's been pretty difficult <laughs> to find that structure again because I have like, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to share my gifts to the world. I'm ready to be out there. And then I have this like ideal version of me that is doing all these activities on the regular. like. Uh, fitness related activities, uh, social media and like YouTube related upload schedules and having an online shop that's consistently um, 
updating and like I'm putting new things out there and putting new ideas and like I have these this like idealized version I have like an understanding of what my hundred kind of looks like and it's been really hard to like slow down and be like okay Reed you know what the hundred is now let's break it down into since you're starting at zero let's break it down into 10 20 30 40 what are those levels in between that that you can use to work yourself up to 100 because you're trying to go all the way up there like you don't have the energy for that you don't have the routines to maintain that it's not sustainable um and so obviously you're going to feel like a failure and it's just going to be like a negative cycle so how do you go from like in levels and I still have to actually as I'm speaking this I feel like I'm coaching myself because <laughs> before I started recording this I didn't know what to do I was like I don't know how to not go from zero to a hundred and I feel like my first step now is going back to my I'm a planner I love planning <laughs> I'm gonna have a planning video up soon too uh, and maybe I'll talk more about this there then but I need to like go and sit down and write down what my hundred is <laughs> what what is my like most ideal self and then break it down and then follow and see where my actual current level is you know what maybe I'll do that and then I'll just like give you an example at the end of this video just so you have like something from my life to have an example by so yeah anyway so but one of the things that because I really wanted to film this video today and I'm like I want to film like I want to post every Friday like it's just been my dream like it's part of my hundred self <laughs> and I've been trying for so many years and I used to be able to do it in university and then I didn't, I just like have been wanting to do it. So I really wanted to do it. And I had this whole other video planned when I was in a different state of mind and different energy levels and et cetera. And I planned it to do it today. And then when I got to today, I'm like, oh my God, that video requires so many like moving parts. And I don't have the energy to do that. And then my initial thing was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just not film but then I was like, nah, it's gonna make me feel so bad. Because it's like that, there's this balance, right? It's like this like tightrope almost, where you don't, you want to stretch yourself so that you battery died, but we're back. And this one's probably gonna die soon too, so. <laughs> Let's just keep going. So yeah, you have to like find that perfect balance. Um, so today that for me, I realized that okay, I really want to make a video. Like, that's the non-negotiable that I feel in my body. Like, I just feel like I have to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to completely fall off the wagon. <laughs> and I really don't want to do that because if I fall off the wagon, it's going to take some time to get back up again and I've built up all this momentum. So then I'm like, okay, well, I could just make a different video. What's a version or format of a video that still feels stretchy because I'm doing something but um, isn't as hard as like what I had planned. And that was this, it was a talking video and I've done a talking videos, um, but I was like, just like sitting down and talking ain't gonna do it for me. Like I need to feel like productive in this. Like I need to feel like I've grown or like done something extra. Um, and in this one, it's just like walking and talking. That's new, that's fun, that's novel. Like I haven't tried that before. I haven't seen how I like that. So that's how I found my balance. But okay, my this battery is gonna die as well. Um, I'm going to end this here and then I'm going to sit down and figure out my all my different levels and then we'll come back and I will uh, present them to you just so you have an example of like, a real world example of what what I'm talking about actually is looking like in my life right now. So, okay. See you in a sec. Before I get into this example, I wanted to preface it by saying that I'm not setting up this like ideal version or embodiment of myself based on any sort of 
like external markers of productivity. Like I'm not trying to hit all of these objectives so that I can get a million subscribers or whatever like metrics. Like I'm not trying to do it to hit certain metrics. And I'm saying this because a few years ago, if I was to create some sort of schedule like this or plan for myself with productivity, it would come from that angle or from that source of like, okay, if only I did it like this, if only I was able to hit these goals and I could post every day and I could do a TikTok every day, then I'd finally be successful. Um, it's not really about that anymore. Obviously, it's like I'm not I'd be extremely happy if this consistent action taking led to um, those types of external markers of success. However, the real motivation that I'm sourcing from, like the real inner drive within me to even embark on this or even attempt to try to stretch my capacity to hit these goals is for my own enjoyment, for my own self. Um, If you watched my last video, I went more into depth about how having like a full free flow schedule is really great in theory, but when you are in it for a long time, it can begin to feel hollow. And at that point, you want to kind of start creating like stable structures in your life that you can consistently and regularly source feel good emotions from, um, whether that's like feeling connected to audience members or your community or your clients or customers, etc. cetera, um, whether that's feeling capable and confident that the gifts that you're sharing with the world are putting value out there and helping people. Like when you create these structures, you can consistently and stably experience those really, that like depth of pleasure, um, that level of satisfaction that's available to us that really can only be harvested from going through the whole creation process of planting seeds watering them consistently showing up for them and then like harvesting so that's really my angle here and my approach when it comes to this at at the core of it it's to grow as a person and strengthen myself as a person so yeah i just wanted to say that before we head into the next thing because it I've worked through a lot of this stuff in my inner work over the last few years and I really wanted to put that on the forefront because it means a lot to me to talk about that and share about that so yeah enjoy okay I'm back I'm inside I did the thing (laughs) I wrote it out Um, so what I started with was I listed all of like the pillars that I desired to be responsible for or to have commitments around and we've got YouTube, my herbalism. Herbalism is, I started this diploma program from this online college called the Wild Rose College of Herbal Medicine and I got a scholarship to that so I have to complete that program within two to three years. I'm gonna plan for two. So that's what the herbalism part is. Then we've got TikTok, we've got online shop, home, and then body. So my 100%, this is what I was talking about when I was referring to that. It's one weekly YouTube video, two hours of herbalism study, two hours a day on building my online shop, which means like, Sure, like the admin part of it and all of that, but also I have, I haven't, I'm not ready yet to really like talk a lot about what my plans are for that, but essentially I want to take the creations that I make and I want to have a space online where I can offer them to people who want the creations that I make, whether it's my herbalism stuff, whether it's pottery, um, crochet, whatever art medium I'm into at that time, the creations that I make, I'd like to like have a spot to put them somewhere um, for people to receive. So that's what that means, online shop. And then daily short video upload, so TikTok or Reels, a consistent workout routine, um, meals, like 
making sure I'm eating properly and then a weekly home care routine which is like you know maintenance of the house making sure things are clean and neat and you know just everything is in order in that so that's 100%. And I think what I was trying to do was I was trying to get to that as soon as possible. Um, I was trying to jump from where I am now, which I'll talk about in a sec, to that 100%. So what I want to do now is I want to show you where I am right now. Like this is what I have been able to easily stabilize in this present now moment. So out of that 100%, so far I've been able to stabilize the one weekly YouTube video two hours of herbalism study, the consistent workout routine and meals. And then everything else is kind of like I'm trying, but I don't have any like set structures because I can't hold them. Like I can't be sustainable with them. So when I like looked at this, I was like, okay, this I feel like is about 60% of the way to my ideal version. So then my next step was breaking it down between that where I am now to where I want to be and what do each of those stages look like. Um, so I got 70%. So this is like basically taking the same as where I am now and then just adding something. So the star depicts what got added. So at 70% and also committing to like a weekly home care routine. So maybe every Friday I dedicate myself to doing like a full house reset and like vacuuming and doing more of like that deeper clean whereas like on the daily maybe I'm focusing on which I already do like I already tidy daily but I want to have consistent routines around those like deeper clean um, activities and then we've got 80% the new thing added here is the weekly TikTok 85% an hour a day building the online shop, 90% adding an extra hour on the online shop. So now it's two, to, two hours a day on building the online shop. And then 95% is three weekly TikToks. The star again depicts what's new. And then obviously a hundred, we're, we're back to where we started. The way that I foresee myself like moving through this is it's like I have to stabilize the current level that I'm at and then when I feel confident that I can hold that, only then I move to the next stage. And I think I'm not going to put a time limit on it, on like this week I'll do 60%, then next week I'll do 70% because realistically I don't think humans work that way or at least I don't work that way. Like we're not that linear, you know what I mean? So I'm really just going to let my body guide me, my inner self and my inner knowing guide me. So when I hit a point where I'm like, okay, I feel really good and stabilized um, within the 60%, now I'm going to look at moving to the next stage, which is 70%. And then once I'm really steady and stable with that, and I feel like I'm not burning myself out, I feel good, I feel good throughout the week um, as I'm doing all these activities, then I'm going to look at moving to 80%, which is then adding in the weekly TikTok. And one of the signifiers for me personally is if I'm doing a lot, but then I stop having fun, that's like I'm doing too much. Because obviously everything that I've written down is something that I want to do. And so it's like kind of defeats the purpose if I'm just kind of trying to like accomplish like check off the to-do list and I'm no longer actually enjoying the tasks because the whole reason I wanted to do them in the first place is because there's something within that that I enjoy so yeah this has been really helpful for me um I'm going to follow along with this as I said that's my plan just kind of stabilizing one level then adding the next thing and then stabilizing and then eventually I'll get to 100 percent so yeah that is it. That's today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah. Bye. I'm so sleepy now. <laughs> I feel like that really, that process really just like toned me down a lot and it feels nice because I was very like the energy in my head was like this and now it's a lot more grounded and calm. So yeah. Thank you. Bye.